Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm excited to share with you a new gel product I purchased during Black Friday, and it's called Silly Jello by Dimey. I hope I'm getting that right. It's a non-wipe gel that's specifically designed for chrome powder and to be able to create a 3D effect. They offer two other colors, and it's in pink and beige, but today I'll be testing out the clear because I feel clear is a bit more versatile. Tile. I'll be using the square brush by DGEL and this is from their artist frame collection. I feel like this brush is the perfect size for using this gel. I already went ahead and buffed my tip and I'm going to start with the wave pattern. Getting a good amount, I'm just going to spread it while creating wave like patterns this pattern doesn't require having to be neat so that's the good thing about it we're just gonna keep tapping and brushing all the way down now under their website it does state that it's best to cure this gel under a 36 watt LED lamp for one minute now if your lamp is older you may need to cure it for longer with the first design curing I'm going to create the second design which they call it the comb pattern but I'm going to brush it at an angle I did see this pattern being created when they were doing the demo and I thought it was kind of neat so I'm giving this a try now that the gel is cured taking a bit of chrome powder I'm going to start rubbing it into the design because this gel is a non-wipe gel I don't have to worry about it having a tacky layer I will say this with a design like this it's not going to have a smooth surface if you or your clients are the type who like surfaces being smooth I wouldn't recommend a design like this even if you put a top coat the rough surface will still show through so i'm just putting this out there in case you want to try a design like this with the second design you can see how cute it's already looking once i put the chrome on i do feel that this design is more wearable and you can do a lot more with a design like this So far, this is how it's looking. The designs are so cute, and I will go ahead and top coat these. I wanted to create another design without putting the chrome on top. I started with a base gel to create a sticky layer. Now with my resin flakes, I'm going to rub that onto the tip. To seal the flakes, I will be putting a top coat on and once I do that, I will start doing the wave design on top of it. Now taking the gel and creating the wave effect, you can start to see how the effect is a bit different versus putting the chrome on top. I actually don't mind this kind of design. It really brings out the colors of the flake. I felt it had the slightest tackiness to it, so I did go ahead and wipe the nail tip. As you can see, it's not a smooth surface, so keep that in mind. Just look at the results. I think this product was so fun to play around with. Let me know if this is something you'll put into your collection. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.